Hey guys, Caleb Brown, New Planner Recruiting here. Hope everybody is doing well. Hey, thanks for joining us this week. Hope you're having a great week. So, question from one of our subscribers is, what, what are some guidelines for taking on existing client relationships? Maybe somebody are, had been working with them, they had another advisor at the firm and that person is departing through, you know, going to another firm or retiring. Uh, and or, hey, I just show up at work one day and and I'm starting and they say, here's 400 orphan accounts that no one really wants to deal with and they're not profitable, they're small clients. And so <laughs> we're gonna try to unpack those. So the, the first thing is hopefully it's been a smooth, warm handoff on, look, this person's been with the firm for a good number of years. You know, now we're transitioning them to another you know, advisor that's a, that's a better fit. So you're positioned correctly from someone that the client already trusts, that's a much different story. If you, if you haven't gotten a smooth handoff, three, three things to, to think about. So one, you need to over communicate with the person. Like, hey, here's who I am. I'm gonna be sending you a bunch of stuff. I'm excited about this. And, it, and, and, and acknowledge, I know the past has not been all that great. I'm the new guy. I'm here to change the things. I was reviewing your plan. Here's something that I noticed. Would love to talk with you about this. Assuming you can get them on the phone or on video or in the meetings, you deliver on that one thing and then explain to them how you're constantly gonna be adding value going forward. Come up with a service calendar on one month. Here's what we're gonna look at insurance. Month two, investments, estate planning, whatever it is, tax planning, whatever. So they can see, okay, this person might be different. Because remember, they're gonna be a little gun shy, like, oh yeah, we've heard this, We've heard this story before. We're just gonna get passed on when this person moves on or gets promoted and they're jaded and they probably should should be. You gotta show that you're different. You can add value now, but you can also add value on an ongoing basis. And then, the most importantly, you have to follow through with what you're gonna say, with, with, with what you say you're gonna do. People in the prior positions that, that they had interactions with probably didn't follow through they got passed over and you know some of them maybe even upset about it so prepare for some angry phone calls diffuse those over communicate you're different here's how you're going to solve their problems and make their life easier you can do it glad you're in this profession see you next time bye bye